Good morning and welcome to Real Women Real Issues. I'm Ardell Bradley and this morning we're going to talk about skin care, being healthy, looking beautiful and the wellness of it. I have the founder of Face Skin Care and Medical Wellness with me, Holly Casaro. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Welcome. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm interested in hearing about all of this because I'm at that age where I want to look good. I want to look younger and not have those incisions and stitches. So tell me, what do you guys do at Face? Oh my goodness, well, thanks for asking. Actually, we've been doing this for 10 years. We specialize in non-invasive procedures, so okay. anything outside of the plastic surgery realm, okay. this is what we do. Uh, anything with the celebrity facial treatments, we do laser treatments that help the face, the body, the neck and chest line, oh. injectables, as well as we do wellness. So we address the skin from the inside out. So when you say you address from the inside out, is it your eating habits that you help them with, or is it vitamins? What, what, so that's what a great question. Um, Dr. Cutler is a naturopathic physician that we work with, so okay. we specialize in holistic medicine. So when he addresses them from the inside out, or acne, um, rosacea, all of these conditions have an inflammatory component to it. So that inflammation comes from within. Okay. So there's ways through diet, other aspects, you said supplements, all of that's mm -hmm. customized with the doctor. So when they come in with their skin and we put them on a three month protocol, we actually see that we help the skin more long term than just working on the outside mm -hmm. in and they maintain those results because the inside, that root was addressed. I always describe it as a weed. If you chop from <laughs> the outside, you don't get to that root. So we want right. to pull that weed out and that's what he specializes specializes in and that's actually helped us very much. Well I know summer's coming. Mm -hmm. A lot of people have some sun damage but then as we were talking about earlier you want to wear your tank tops or your mm -hmm you know, just um, shoulderless, have your shoulders out. If you have some type of some damage, wrinkles starting to come, I'm sure you see a lot of that. What would you advise? Yes, yeah, so people usually work on the face and then they go, oh my gosh, my neck looks 10 years older, my chest, you know, it doesn't look my age. So we try to create harmony within the neck and the chest line and spring okay. being the perfect time to address that. So if somebody has sunspots in this area, there's ways that we can eliminate that. One of the latest treatments that I love to use in this area is called Permea and it actually will work on the textural aspects of the neck and chest line and remove that, that sun damage that's there. Um, another thing that one of the latest treatments that are out there is called all therapy. Now we love this on the face and the neck and chest line. All therapy is the only FDA indicated treatment on the planet to actually be an alternative to a facelift and lift the skin as well as the muscle. So we use that for a neck lift as well to tighten around the jawline. Also it's just newly got um, FDA cleared for vertical chest lines. So that's something that a lot of women you know we think about but we don't think we can do anything about it. And now no. you can actually eliminate those vertical chest lines. Now how long does this take if I come into you and I want to get my chest lines, for instance, taken away. Is it one treatment, five treatments? How long does so, it yes, take? So yes, with all therapy, it's actually one treatment. And some people do it to maintain with the face. We do it about once a year. The chest is newly indicated, so we don't know, is it gonna be once a year or is it just be once and maybe five years later you wanna do it. So okay. we're really excited about this new breakthrough, but in the chest lines, we don't know exactly what, the true, yeah, what the true length is, but with the face, it's generally once a year. Now, as far as taking care of the finances with this, does insurance pay any of this? Is it expensive? Do I need to save for a year to get something done? <laughs> and it's definitely an investment to take care of ourselves, especially with laser technology and injectables and all of that. But we do have financing and we can take it at somebody's pace. I always do a half an hour consultation with someone. And one of the things we address is where is your budget? How fast do you want to reach your goals? What is your top three issues? And maybe we address one at a time or we take it at a little more moderate pace, slow pace, you know, depending on where somebody's at with the budget. So we do honor that. And beauty doesn't have to be very expensive, even though some of these technologies are an investment. I always say you can look beautiful no matter what, even with home care products. If somebody came to me and they just wanted to work with their home care, we can do it. We can get a result with that medical skin care. So there's okay. lots of variances with what we can everyone, do. Everyone, there are options. There's options, and that's everyone. why we meet with people for that 30 minutes. <laughs> we'll be back. But first, we're going to hear from our friends at Jungle Juice to find out about the benefits of juicing. Jungle Juice Bar offers a wide range of fresh fruit and vegetable smoothie and raw juice blends made with 100% real juice. At Jungle Juice Bar, you can rest assured that there are no preservatives or additives included in our drinks. Enjoy our unique flavor combinations, along with gluten-free, vegan, and vegetarian options. In celebration of the jungles of the world and as part of our commitment to the environment, we have dedicated some of our drinks to the jungles by giving them names of those famous jungles. Each time someone orders a drink, 
we are reminded of the life given to us by the jungle. Stop by and enjoy a delicious juice or smoothie today. The Jungle Juice Bar is located on Charlevoix in Gross Point Park. When you're having a heart attack, this is how it feels to your heart. And if it happens at night or on the weekend, there's only one hospital team standing by on site to save you. Cardio Team One, only at the DMC. We're the Cronin Law Firm, bringing more to the table. When we sit down together, we share our expertise. You've got a legal problem, we know you need relief. Advice that you can trust, that's why people come to us. We're the Cronin Law Firm, bringing more to the table. My friends, I want to introduce you to Samasco Financial. As attorneys, they worked hard to protect clients on a legal basis, only to watch many lose their money in the unpredictable and risky stock market. Samasco Financial has recognized the need for asset protection for our seniors and has introduced investment planning that will grow your nest egg without the risk of loss. To find out more about how Samasco Financial can protect your financial future, call 586-493-9989. Groundbreaking, life-saving, history-making. The new DMC Heart Hospital, summer 2014. The beat goes on. Real Women, Real Issues is brought to you by Mike's Fresh Market. Welcome back to Real Women, Real Issues. We're talking about taking care of our skin without having surgery and stitches and all of that evasiveness. And we're speaking with Holly Cassaro from The Face Skin Care Medical Wellness. She gave us a whole lot of things to think about in our first segment. Now I want to talk about what's the latest, the greatest, the new way to look beautiful. Oh, great question again. <laughs> uh, so a lot of people are doing things for their face. So they say, the facial division, what do you do? Is that right. fluff and buff? Can you really do anything with my skin when I'm 50 and I haven't done anything? Yes, you can. You don't necessarily have to go into treatments like laser. So we talk about celebrity facial treatments, what the stars are getting on the red right. carpet. So there's different technologies that we use from ultrasound to oxygen to LED light therapy to microcurrent to electroporation, all of these heavy words that a lot of people don't know about. And all of these things work? All of these things work and they okay. help to make the treatments on a cellular level. So our skin, when it, when it, oh sorry, oh, it's okay, gosh. that's, that's okay. all right. Well, they can well, cut it? Yeah, okay. just keep going. Okay, let me see. Okay. So the skin replenishes itself about every month or so. So when we treat on cellular level, every month that skin gets uh -huh. better and better and better. So when we do these celebrity facial treatments, we're actually making the skin better and better over time, time. without the downtime necessarily that you might have in a more advanced laser treatment that's exfoliating the skin. Now that leads me to my next question. We should have facials. We've always been told at least once a month, get a good facial, deep cleansing. Is that necessary? Yes, but that's maintenance. So I say you want to stop that aging process in the skin, definitely get your monthly facials. If you want to reverse the aging process, you mm -hmm. have to go into something more like laser treatments, injectables, where I we see. lose volume in the skin. Right. What about moisturizers? Do I pay $200 for this designer moisturizer, or can I go to CVS and get a $10 moisturizer? So moisturizers and home care products are really, really important, but a lot of people need more. And the moisturizers at home, some of them, people think at the department stores, do they work compared to the medical skincare? Mm -hmm. Yes and no. Some of them can be great for putting moisture in the skin, but are they working on a cellular level? So that's where medical skincare comes into play that you want to use with certain retinoid levels that you can't get over the counter. Okay. So acids that help to turn those cells over and get rid of sun damage. So that's where that So plays facials part. and moisturizer will keep it at bay, but if we want to go younger, then we have to come and get some treatments. <laughs> yes, if we want to reverse all the damage we've gotten our whole life, yes, you want to come in and get f professional treatments. And I always say that the home care is like a, your diet at home versus what we do is the workout. We're your skin trainers. We're going to work you out and we're going to stretch you and start to transform that body. And then when you leave, right. that skin care is that diet. So it's really important that you complement it with that. Which leads me to, we were talking about having liposuction, but they have this new latest and greatest Yes, What's so there's there? really exciting um, advances in regards to the body. So 
field radio frequency came out in the last few years. So before that, cool sculpting or freezing fat Which was one of the that. first on the block to say, hey, we can destroy fat cells non-invasively without surgery. Then came Vanquish. Vanquish was say, hey, we can get larger area, we can hmm. get more inches, and we can do it faster than freezing. So Vanquish is my baby, absolutely love it. The average is about two inches. We have seen people at one four. treatment at one time? It's over the course of four treatments once a week. So we've had, see, had people actually lose two inches. We've had people lose four. Some people do go beneath the two inch mark. They only lose one, but it also just depends on the size of the person. Okay. What are they doing outside in their lifestyle? What are they eating? As is permanent weight loss? So okay. it's permanent, correct. That is actually de uh, destroying the fat cells. We do have other treatments that create lipolysis, which drains the fat from the cells, okay. uh, but this is actually destroying the fat cells. Interesting. Now, have you had any of that done? Do you? Yes, before I was pregnant, I did. <laughs> oh, that's right. New mom, so you have a lot going on. So yes. would you do it again? Or Absolutely. There's no question. My goodness. So I have to come see. How long does the treatment take? How long is the it's process? It's about 30 to 40 minutes. So and four times a week, 30 to 40 minutes. So it's four times a month. Oh, four times so a month. So once a week. And you can maintain your lifestyle. You can work out before you come. Come on in, get a treatment, and go back. There's no pain involved, no downtime. And kill nothing. the fat cells. And kill those fat cells, especially All in right. the stubborn area that a lot of us women deal with. <laughs> well, so. thank you for being with us. And thank you so much. I might for have to come me. and see you and take up on some of this. Anytime. Come <laughs> thank you. Stay tuned, and we'll be right back with more Real Women, Real Issues. Visit LoversLane.com for the boutique store near you. This is Arthur Bricker of Bricker Tunis Furs in West Bloomfield. We're back with the biggest fur clearance sale in our history. Save 40 to 70% off on women's and men's furs and shearlings. Choose from mink, sheared mink, sable, chinchilla, fox, beaver, and exquisite leathers and shearlings in the latest styles from Europe. Plus, our consignment boutique is full of gorgeous furs priced at a fraction of the original cost. No other furrier in Metro Detroit can match our quality, our selection, or our prices. Celebrating 98 years in business. Call today, 248-855-9200. With the award-winning Woodhouse Day Spa in your backyard, why would you go anywhere else? Within minutes, feel relaxed, refreshed, and renewed. Handcrafted spa treatments will nourish your spirit and revive your senses and allow dreams to reawaken. Give the perfect gift this season, the Woodhouse Day Spa gift card. A luxury spa experience awaits you right in your neighborhood. Visit LoversLane.com for the boutique store near you. Ardell Bradley's hairstyle provided by Megan Mitchell Hair Salon in Ferndale. Welcome back to Real Women, Real Issues. This morning, we're gonna to talk to Gail Rosenblum Kaplan from the Holocaust Memorial Center. We're gonna talk about some projects that they have there. Some are relatively new and permanent. Welcome. Thank you. It's a real privilege to be here to talk about the things we're doing at the Holocaust Memorial Center. Well, thank you for coming. I know we talked about the Anne Frank that I sort of knew. It's been there for a little bit. You've had your dedication. Right. But tell us more about that project. Well, in 2007, there was an article in the New York Times talking about the Anne Frank tree that she wrote about in her diary. Mm. And that tree gave her hope that there would be a better time for her. Okay. And the horse chestnut tree survives about 150 years, and that tree was dying. And because that tree represented hope for Anne Frank, mm -hmm. they wanted to do a project that would get saplings from that tree and that give them to 11 places in the United States that represent hope and tolerance. Okay. And one of the places predetermined was the White House Gardens, one was the 9-11 Gardens, one was the Children's Museum in Indianapolis. But the other saplings were up for proposals. So on behalf of the Holocaust Memorial Center, myself and Faga Weiss, the librarian at the museum, uh, we did the proposal why we should receive one of the Anne Frank saplings. Mm -hmm. And it took some time, but we, we <laughs> won a sapling, so we actually awesome. have the tree in our garden. My. 
So, okay, it's in the garden, it's the actual tree? So it's a sapling. The chestnut tree was, okay. they did saplings that would be going to different locations. In Amsterdam, uh, they have saplings also. Okay. And uh, we have a center in New York called the Anne Frank Center USA. It was started in 1977 by Otto Frank. Okay. So our center in the United States promotes the story of Anne Frank, not only her personal story, but it addresses the issue of prejudice mm -hmm. and, ra and tolerance. And so in, on behalf of the United States, we were receiving these 11 saplings. That's awesome. So other places that, that were winners represented social justice. We have the birthplace of the women's movement, mm -hmm. uh, the first school in Arkansas that was uh, that dealt with segregation, right. uh, that was right. integrated. Right. Um, so they're places that represent social justice and um, equality and mm -hmm. anti-bullying. So different, different centers received it for different reasons. reasons. Um, our Holocaust Center is a place that teaches, we have over 50,000 students that come a year. Right. And when they come to the Holocaust Center, many of them might not know a lot of facts about the Holocaust, but they do know Anne Frank because that is Absolutely. required reading in the schools. Everybody knows about Anne Frank. Right. And I'm <clears throat> wondering, having that, I'm sure that draws a lot of teachers or students from different schools to want to come where they can read about a book and actually see something of that right. book come to life. Right. It's, it's a fantastic opportunity for us to have that sapling. Now, are you open to the public or do you have Absolutely. to have a tour? Okay. Uh, you... We're open to the public. We're open. Uh, we're closed on Saturdays, but we're open okay. Sundays through Friday. And we have scheduled tours there daily, um, schools around the state okay. um, access the museum, and it's, it's quite an educational center. Um, we do, the, that, that particular exhibit really, not only is it the exhibit of the tree, mm -hmm. uh, but you can only see the tree from the window. You enter the area where the Anne Frank tree is by coming up, you've gone on a tour of the Holocaust Center, mm -hmm. and it's quite a heavy subject, very somber, and you walk up the levels of the museum of the center are different levels, and you're really walking up, and the first time that you're getting sunlight is under the six pillars. The architecture is quite interesting. Right. And as you come up the Institute of the Righteous, that hall, the first thing you see from that window is that, that sapling, which, which gave her hope and going through the museum, it gives us hope. Um, That's wonderful. It, it's quite a spectacular view. Well, I want to thank you for being with us here this okay. morning, and hopefully people can come out and see that tree sampling. I know that was my mom's favorite book she used uh -huh. to always talk about, so I would well, love to come there's over 30 see. million copies in 67 languages, and not only is the sapling beautiful, but our center is doing a lot of multi uh, different ways of addressing the sapling. We have a journaling okay. project and we meet with all kinds of people. Okay, well thank you again for being with us. And we will be right back after we hear the Dermatology Tip of the Week from Dr. Shauna Ryder Diggs. I'm Dr. Shauna Diggs with your Skin Care Tip of the Week. Today, we're gonna talk about melasma. So melasma is a, is a disease where your body creates these dark marks on your cheeks, chin, and forehead. Typically, they're worse with the sun, and they can also be made worse by hormonal therapies, such as birth control pills, hormonal replacement therapy, or even in pregnancy when your hormonal levels rise. A combination of the hormones combined with sun can create these dark areas on your skin. Typically, they occur more commonly in women than men. So we have several different ways we can treat melasma. The first is with creams that exfoliate your skin. And when they exfoliate or peel your skin, the dark marks lighten up. Those are creams such as Retin-A, Differin, Atrolin, uh, Zyana. These are all medications that are vitamin A creams and they help exfoliate the skin. We can also use glycolics or fruit acid creams and they help gently exfoliate your skin and peel the dark marks off. So those are creams like the Cosmetic Derm Glycolic 10%, 15 or 20%. We can also use bleaching creams. So the bleaching cream is hydroquinone. We have one in our office called HydroQ, but you can find many different formulations of hydroquinone. Prescription level is 4%, such as the HydroQ. But you can also have bleaching creams over the counter, such as Ambi, which is a 2%. 
porcelina, which we've used for decades, and there are also other hydroquinone creams, half percent to two percent over the counter. Those creams should be used for four to six months, but you should take a break so that you prevent a very rare side effect of darkening on the skin. The best way is to use all of these medicines combined. So you pick a vitamin A cream, a bleaching cream, and a glycolic cream to use. And that's, that's the way that you get the best lightening. There's one prescription cream that has multiple ingredients in one tube. It's called Triluma. It's oftentimes not covered by insurance, but it's very effective. I'll show you some photographs of before and after two months of use with Triluma every day. You can also use peels to lighten the skin, glycolic or trichloracetic acid peels. We can use laser peels or a very light laser that peels the skin off each time, leaving you pink for about a day and then you look normal by day two or three. We have some deeper lasers, such as the Fraxel laser, where you may be pink, a little puffy, for three to seven days. And we'll show you some photographs of those, how you look after three or four or five treatments with a Fraxel. I'm Dr. Shauna Diggs with your Skin Care Tip of the Week. To learn more about Cosmetic Derm and their revolutionary skin care products and services, please visit DrShaunaDiggs.com. Mike's Fresh Market, Detroit's largest independent supermarket with the best prices, quality, and service. Enjoy our vast selection of fresh fruits and vegetables. Wide aisles lead you to our own in-house bakery and deli. Beef, pork, chicken, seafood, and much more. You can rest assured you will feed your family the freshest food in town. Whatever you need, you can find it here at Mike's Fresh Market. Mike's Fresh Market with two locations, Gratiot and Seven Mile and Livernoy and Seven Mile. Better food, better prices. That's Mike's promise. Welcome to Orchard Maple Family Dental in West Bloomfield. I'm Dr. William Woodruff. I practice dentistry in Metro Detroit for over 40 years, and now my son has joined the practice. I'm proud to practice dentistry with my father. It's a second generation family business, which now includes my wife. Working with my father-in-law and husband is very gratifying. We truly care about our patients. New patients get $100 off any dental treatment over $250. Call 248-702-5822. Wait for it. Wait for it. You know, I just don't think I should have to wait for it. What do you think I am? Quicken Loans? At Quicken Loans, we won't make you wait for it. Our efficient online system allows us to get you through your home loan process fast, which means you'll never have to beg for a quick closing. One more way Quicken Loans is engineered to amaze. Bunkers, look at me when I'm talking to you. The Detroit Seafood Market is a proud sponsor of Real Women, Real Issues. Good morning and welcome back to Real Women, Real Issues. Now I have with me Anne Marie Erickson. She's the COO of Detroit Institute of Arts. We're going to talk about the opening of Frida coming to the DIA. Good morning. Good morning. Well, Pleasure to be here. Pleasure to have you. We were talking during the break about how wonderful it must be to work with all that artwork around you. It has to be beautiful and just mm -hmm. all enthralled every day when you go to work. Yeah, it's, it's an inspirational place to work in. I'm happy to say for the residents of Wayne, Oakland, and Macomb counties, it's free to come in so everybody can be inspired just Absolutely. as often as I am. <laughs> now, what are your hours there now? I know things have changed. Um, we are going to have some special hours for the Diego Rivera and Frida Kahlo show, but we are Good. open Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. and okay. Friday from 9 a.m. until 10 p.m. Friday okay. is our light night. There, there's music in Rivera Court and all kinds of other programming. And then Saturday and Sunday we're open from 10 to 5. Oh, great. But we so will be doing some extended hours. For the, now tell me, tell me about the Frida show. What, what's coming? How long is it going to be here? Well, really it's Diego and Frida. And that's okay. an important thing to remember because as I'm sure you know, the Detroit industry murals are at the heart of our museum, and those were done by Diego Rivera in the 1930s. And okay. Frida was with him during the, the production of those murals. The, that time was a very pivotal time for both of them as artists. For Diego, he considered the Detroit industry murals his best mural cycle ever. Wow. And if you have ever been to Mexico City and seen mm -hmm. some of his murals, that's quite a statement. So Absolutely. he was incredibly proud of those murals. 
For Frida, it was a tragic moment. She lost mm. a child in Detroit, and there is a picture in the exhibition called Henry Ford Hospital that memorializes that loss. But it also meant a turning point for her as an artist, and she built on that personal tragedy to develop a style that was very intimate, very self-revealing. And so Detroit, for her, was almost a launching pad. Okay. So this is like history absolutely coming back home. This is like history coming back home and really reflected through a very Detroit lens, and that's awesome. why we're so proud of it. Now, when does it open? It opens to the public on Sunday, March 15th. If you okay. have a membership, you can, of course, get your tickets in advance. Which is not too late to get a nope, membership nope. and come you to the advance show. You can still showing. do that. You can still do that, and we okay. have member sneak peeks on Friday and Saturday before the public opening. Okay. And one of the really wonderful things about this exhibition is that those who attend will see something that they have we haven't displayed since the 1980s. And those oh are the my. cartoons or the preparatory drawings for the Rivera murals. Okay. Diego Rivera actually did these huge scale cartoons. And if you know anything about the murals, they are actually frescoes. They're painted mm -hmm. right into the plaster of the museum's walls. So they are a part of the museum, museum. like no They're other there. work of art. <laughs> and these cartoons are what Rivera used to outline the images on the walls. They're enormous, they're beautiful. They really wow. show the artist's mind and craft at work. And uh, we'll have eight of them on display. So okay. I think people will be thrilled to see those in addition to the amazing works by Frida. So if you haven't been recently or if you've never been to the DIA, now's the time. Now is the time. Okay. And, and all the time, really. Um, <laughs> the museum has one of the best encyclopedic collections in the United States. Um, mm -hmm. We consider ourselves to be among the top six museums in the United States. Okay. We have an international reputation. Um, the works of art that we have here in Detroit that we hold for the residents of Detroit and Southeast Michigan and right. beyond, it's an amazing art collection. We're very, very fortunate. And proud, I'm sure. Oh, I'm very proud, and I hope everyone else is, too. <laughs> now, how can you get a membership other than it coming down? Can you do it online? You can go online, dia.org. You can okay. get your membership. You can get your member tickets. Um, I would say that the member slots are selling out quickly. This is a much-anticipated exhibition. Now, do you have family so you can bring, if you have little children also, mm -hmm. you can get the family membership? You can get a family can membership, and, and, and uh, everybody can come in and see it when you get a membership you get a, an allotment of free exhibition tickets. Otherwise, there is a small charge for the exhibition. Okay. Well, thank you so much for sharing this information with us today. I'm sure you're going to have a wonderful turnout for I, the exhibit. I, we're hoping for several hundred thousand people. Absolutely. We hope Detroit and, and Southeast Michigan rallies around Diego and Frida, and it's going to be a fiesta. I'm sure it will be. Thank you again. Thank you. And thank you for tuning in to Real Women, Real Issues. We'll see you again next week. Same place, same time.